Hello everybody, welcome back to Civilization 6. Things are going pretty smoothly right now, I will admit. Looking pretty nice in our two cities that we have. Of course, it's not a fantastic amount. We're trying to get back at Arabia who have at least five. Who knows if there's more? Honestly, not me. But it's going alright, you know, we're about to get to the medieval era. Rome wants us to leave exploring to them. I mean, we don't really have a choice. We're trying, but I, I don't have you know anything on sea yet which is something i wouldn't mind getting asap i actually wanted to do that on the same episode where we got you know a war surprise war started on us by arabia so i kind of got a little overwhelmed with that let's just have a look and see if we can purchase sea units i don't think we can i think we might have to you know actually build a dock or something like that Let's see if we can do that after these turns free up our moves a little bit. Oh, hey, what are you doing here, Arabia? You all right there? Kind of spooking me a bit. See, I'm realizing why uh, Memphis isn't growing. We only have four housing for six citizens, which definitely isn't ideal. Uh, we might have to fix that, you know, try and get some more housing in. I don't know if we can do that with building stuff let's have a look at what we can plan to do next something that gives us housing for sure aqueduct a district that provides the city with a source of fresh water from an adjacent river lake oasis or mountain we don't really have any of those we have the sea but you know i don't think that counts i think we'll probably go for entertainment complex afterwards because it does get us some amenities and that would be pretty useful for us Definitely going to have to hold back on the war situation as long as we can. If we're going to, you know, actually improve our current land enough so that we, you know, can survive the war. I say the war because I know there will be one, whether they start it or not. They are awfully close to us. They're kind of keeping a firmer eye on us, which is kind of spooky. In fact, spooky me enough that I want to just kind of have a look. I'm just going to leave that there and just... Fortify. I don't know if that will make them feel threatened, but I'm feeling pretty threatened by their literal men with guns and general over here. Got to be honest. Oh, sound went down. It's that random barbarian situation. Where, where's where's the barbarian situation? I don't know. Oh, oh, look how much we can see now. I guess Bandar Brunei is our friend. To the point where we can see what they're doing. They got a barbarian camp there. And we can see Hong Kong now. Send trade route. I'd love to send a trade route. Is that even possible? Of course, we got to choose our production here. How's Shadet doing? Just to make sure everyone's got houses. Yep, we've got houses. Everyone's happy. So we just got to focus on improving. I think we can probably do an aqueduct. That would be really nice. Um... These I do not already have existing fresh water. We'll get up to six housing. I mean, we do have fresh water. But we will get plus two housing. Oh! I see. So if we don't have fresh water, we actually get... Um, what is it? Six housing. Okay, we're definitely going to get an aqueduct in Memphis then. Next up. For right now, in Shidet, they want us to build a temple. And i got to agree. You know, get our faith up a little bit. Try to get our great... Profit, which we're about halfway to right now, which is cool. There's two other people that have already crushed that. So Japan and someone else have definitely got great profits by now. But we're, you know, we're getting there, slowly but surely. We are true friends with the small civilizations. We appreciate that you recognize this fact. You're calling me small, kind of passive-aggressive, but you're not that wrong. So I'm curious about Zanzibar. They've got... What is this? This is the coast? the harbor i'm guessing that's how they have all these boats i wouldn't mind getting a harbor maybe here are we able to buy a builder i would love to do that and also we can harvest the well not harvest but you know utilize this cattle over here how much is the build 280 okay give it a couple of turns i think what about trader i wouldn't mind trying that trader thing nope that's even more okay well soon we'll do this in fact, we might just use it with the production instead of purchasing it outright. That way we can purchase the builders for our coast. 
harbor situation. I would also like to get a settler soon. Oh, hello. They want to offer me one goal for 30 turns for open borders. How about you give me open borders? Uh, I'm honestly kind of happy about that. I wouldn't mind one iron though. Nope. 21 gold for 31 turns for that. Jade. Oh, they've got jade, tobacco, coal. They're so ahead of us. It's insane. I've not even seen coal. I don't know if we have a use for the for their open borders right now. Did that dent our reputation? Maybe. I think we're still happy, so it's not the biggest problem. Maybe in the future we'll do the open borders. I'm sure they'd want it. But right now, I don't think we want it. We can't even get there. Oh, nice. Thanks, Zanzibar. You're, you know, revealing things a bit for me down there, which is cool. Only so much to discover. I'm afraid I cannot abide by anyone who sets out ahead of my own explorers. Wait, what? Since when? Am <laughs> you said leave the exploring to you, and I've pretty much done that this entire game, but... Whatever you say, mate. Whatever you say. All right. We've got a trader now, which is cool. We can utilize that. Maybe are we able to send it to Hong Kong? I don't think so. We haven't really got the methods for that. I am definitely going to be cutting a lot of these, uh, you know, bits out where the enemy moves. Because at this point, it takes so long. I feel like I don't want to just sit there in dead silence unless I have something to add. I think we could do this because these guys want us to send a trade route. It does get us a lot of money too, more than anybody else. It takes 28 turns to do, but why not? Go for it. We're going to have a nice trade route across the ocean, which is cool. I don't even know we can do boats right now. Repair out of defenses. I think we'll do that because it's one turn. And I feel like I didn't even know out of defenses were... Oh yeah, they're kind of messed up. Also, it's nice to see that our garrison or our, you know, district here in Cameron District is nice and done now, which is cool. That's a nice thing to know. Production is available for both Shadet and Memphis. So maybe here we'll build the Settler for five turns. And here we'll build the Builder for four turns. So they'll basically be done around the same time. Builder's going to do this. Settler's going to settle here. That's going to be a very nice spot for us. Oh, Samaria's declared friendship and progressed the industrial area. Yeah, we're so behind. Like, what is happening with our tech tree? Like, are we in the medieval era? I guess we are. Oh, this is showing where everyone is. Oh, wow. Roosevelt is so far ahead. At least we're ahead of Hojo Tukimune, I guess. I'm shocked about that, to be honest. I wouldn't mind catching up with these guys because they're close to me, you know, geographically. And I want to try and keep up just in case we do have a war. German scouts coming over. Okay, interesting. They've got open borders with Arabia, it seems. Interesting stuff, to say the least. And we should have our research done in this turn as well. So actually, let's see. Peace be to you and yours. I to see another just as peace as myself. What do you mean about peace? The last person to preach about peace to me. Arabia. What even is his name? Saladin. I don't I don't buy it. You're just pandering. Few inventions have been so simple as the stirrup, but few have had so catalytic an influence on history. In peace, one is despoiled by mercenaries. In war, by one's enemies. Nice, we've got mercenaries, we should have some new stuff here. Yeah, we got two. Sack. Yields gained from pillaging are doubled for pillaging districts. 50% discount on all unit upgrades. Okay. I didn't know we could buy unit upgrades, but that's nice. I guess it's if we have stuff out already and we want to upgrade them to stronger versions. I think that's what that is. We have here something new. Plus one culture, plus one science from international trade routes. Ooh. That could be pretty nice compared to what we have now. So we do have an international trade route now. Let's go for that. And no new wild cards. I think we're going to stick to Bastions right now. Just feel like it's a little safer. Because, you know, we're not doing too hot in general. But this is the only one that's boosted here. 
because we killed a unit with a spearman before. We get a wonder, which gives us immunity from each lake tile. We've done one tile of it. So that could be really useful, like here, I guess. Very much so. I think we'll go for this. Pikeman. Sure. And civics free now, which is cool. Monarchy. Inherent bonus. 50% production towards defensive buildings. Plus one housing for each level of wall. Okay, nice. Or naval tradition, which is recommended. Plus one harbor district adjacent bonuses. Plus two great admiral points per turn and envoy. Yeah, we'll go for that. Because we are going to have um, a harbor soon. And there is some districts that I'm going to plonk nearby. So why not? we we'll go for naval. We can send an envoy. And there's way more people to send an envoy to. Of course, I want to see if it's worth it. Yeah, these guys have a bunch of influence, but maybe not them. How about these guys? Yeah, even more. What about them? Yeah, they got too many. I don't know. Who is worth seeking out here? We only have one envoy to use. I wouldn't mind keeping up with Carthage because they still, as far as I know, don't have... A Caesarian? Yeah, not yet. But we're fighting for that. We're fighting for that right now. Go for a Carthage. Enjoy our envoy. It's good to see you. My diplomatic delegation should be arriving soon with some fresh baked apple pies. Oh, that's nice. Thanks, man. That's really sweet. Just like the apple pies. I'm sure they're very sweet. It's so nice to be able to see some of this, though. It's like we're actually discovering the land without actually having to do it ourselves. Oh, Baghdad has just been formed over here, I'm noticing. Yeah, Arabia's really encroaching on us right now. This is spooky. It is nice that both of these guys are on my side, though. So if we do attack, we've got like a pincer on this little cluster here. Which I think would be very helpful. Oh. Bom dia. É uma honra conhecê-lo pessoalmente. Parece que mentes brilhantes se atraem. Okay. Pedro the second, I think. Nice to meet you. Come to Brazil. Do you know how to dance samba? It doesn't matter. You will enjoy the carnival regardless. Sure. Okay, we've met Brazil. It's cool. I don't know if we've actually not met any leaders now. Yeah, we've met every leader. And we are, oh, doing so badly. And military strength is absolutely, oh, it's not the worst. Oh yeah, we can see the military strength. So how is Arabians? Oh, there's mil their military is actually worse than ours. They do have higher domination because I guess they did take our capital, which I imagine is worth quite a bit. They are ahead of us in era, I think, but quite a bit. Yeah, they are so ahead of us. And in the Renaissance era, they have musket men, which is the main problem for me. How much damage do they do? Melee strength 55. Oh, they're only melee? That's strong though, 55. We're going to have to just outnumber them with... Is it Swordsman? No, not even Swordsman. The other ones that we have. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can build that harbour. Let's give it a try. And these settlers... This is actually apparently a really good spot around this part. I, I like the idea of being close to water though. So maybe, yeah, we'll go here. Having this, you know, river down here. Seems like a pretty crucial thing. Aqueduct. We already have fresh water, but we get two extra housing, which do we need right now? Why is population growth rate slowed 50%? Maybe we just need another builder. Yeah, I think a builder could be good, so then we can improve some of this empty land. In Memphis, industrial zone. Great engineer, production from mines and quarries. And we do have a mine. Is this a quarry or a mine? No, we have two mines. That could actually be pretty good for just being here. We go for the industrial zone, I guess. What about aqueduct? Did we not? Oh, I said we we're gonna do aqueduct, didn't I? Because our housing situation is awful, and we will get six housing for that. So absolutely, put the aqueduct right there. Or at least if we don't get six, we we'll get two, which is enough to help us grow. I think. No, I'm not too sure, but it's like the only way we can improve housing so far in Memphis, so we'll absolutely do it. 
Arabia's progressed to the industrial era? Oh, jeez. Really? My lord, how? I'm gonna... I don't know if we'll ever be able to catch up. We might just have to brute force them before, you know, the game actually ends. Alright, builder... Wait, what's happening? Oh, nothing. Next turn. Oh, Homs has just done something. I think they created a thing there. Yeah, an industrial zone. Okay. Well, we're doing that too, so don't get too excited, alright guys? You're not that cool, alright? We have enough money. We're gonna buy that tile so we can put the harbor there. That should be really nice. And it should line up time-wise with our settling. So we're gonna have a new city and we're gonna have a harbor so we can send, send out some ships to explore the rest of the land. I think the game is getting a little bit laggy, at least on recording at this point because the world is so big. I will definitely whack down the graphics a bit so that's not a problem in future. Just sorry if it's a little bit choppy. We also have a free trade route, I'm noticing. We should probably sort that out. So I'm going to purchase... No, wait. Who are we trading with? Page route overview. We've got Memphis to Bandar Brunei. Let's do one from Shadet. We'll buy Trader from there. 300. Okay, that's all our money. But it's fine. I think Shadet. You're good for housing, right? Yeah. Population. I really need to figure out how to improve that. I think amenities is like the thing that really helps. So maybe get an amenity in here. We need 10 population to get an entertainment complex. Okay, well, we'll go for the aqueduct. Oh, wait, settler? We've already got a settler. Campman training, district based project, which provides gold every turn. Great general points. We'll just finish. Okay. Provides gold, a great merchant, or provides faith and great profit points. We'll go for that, I think. How's our great profit coming along? Pretty well. Yeah, we're going to go for that. I'd like to get our religion founded, honestly. Alright, mine can go there. We've got a builder here, so I think this is a good time to, you know, maybe build a sphinx there. We've already got a sphinx here, but, you know, could be a good idea. Could be a fantastic idea. Who knows? Uh-oh, Rome's declared war on Samaria. What? America is in the modern era? Are you kidding me? What? America? How do you do this? Okay, well, I was zooming into America game. Wow, I look so cool, I gotta be honest. That's aesthetic AF. Oh, we can send an envoy now, though. How's Carthage doing? We would get Carthage. And they've got a catapult. They, they want a trade route. They want a trade route. They want a trade route. Oh, they want us to train a crossbowman. Never mind. Yeah, Carthage. Go for it. And then we get additional two production in every encampment district. Beautiful. Hey, now we can see a bit more. Carthage is doing fantastically. They got a missionary from Brazil in there. Crazy. And let's see. We could improve production or we could add culture and faith. That doesn't take away the food. So we'll definitely do that. All right. Who wanted the trade routes? Let's have a look. These guys want it. Hong Kong wants it. I don't think we can send one to either of those guys. Not quite sure why that is. I mean, Hong Kong, surely we'd be able to do that, right? I think we've got to send an envoy first. That would make sense. Oh, we can see Japan now. Shizuka. All right, well, for now, since we have the trade route slot, we might as well use it. We'll send one to... Zanzibar? Zanzibar. Oh, that's Shadet to Zanzibar. Okay, well, it's a short journey, but I think it's helpful. It gets us a bunch of gold per turn. And let's see, are these guys able to do this now? I hope so. Fingers crossed. Ooh, Japan wants to give me money. How about you give me open borders? For open borders. Oh, they want two gold for that. I'm good, mate. Sorry. You've denounced me so much, I... I don't think you could be surprised when I don't want to deal with you. Plus, I gave you money for ages, for no reason, other than that you didn't like me. Come on. Get over yourself. And our settlers are here. We're going to found a city. The city of Edfu. Nice. That's exciting. 
Let's choose our first production. I feel like Monument might be a good one. Look at how long everything else takes. Like, yeah, definitely Monument. Yeah, there's some culture in. Right, these guys are done here. Let's head over this way so we can build a farm there. Very nice. Builders are heading out to the waters here to get ourselves a dock. And we can finally start exploring the seas ourselves. Which is super, super good. Strategy requires thought. Tactics require observation. Nice. We've got that wonder. If we put it by lake tiles, that's good. That's huge. All right. We're going to build something up here. I'm feeling cartography, but it does take a while. Otherwise, we've got armory. Which could be really nice. I guess this is citizen slot as well. A support unit. And a resource. Alright, we'll go for military engineering. I feel like I'm happy enough to just have boats happening, you know? We'll do that. Provide some extra housing. Oh, so, okay. So farms actually provide extra housing too. We're definitely going to put some farms over in Memphis then. But first, uh-oh. Why? Why can't we? Oh no! Why can't we build the harbor? Is that a district? Oh jeez, it's a district, isn't it? Whoops. Well, I'm going to send these guys out to work on this. Because I think that's still, yeah, not converted yet. Nice, that's done. How's our housing in Shadet going? Really good. We could probably even make it one better by just building another farm there. And those builders are gone. I still want to get Memphis coming coming up a bit. The housing is awful there. In fact, it seems like it's worse than it was before. I don't know what that's about. A good navy is not a provocation to war. It is the surest guarantee of peace. Ooh, okay. So we've got that naval tradition, and we get an upgrade here. What is new? 100% harbor district adjacency bonuses? See, I'd love that. But we don't... we don't have the harbor yet. It's confirmed that it's a district. I'm gonna put that in just in advance, because I know it takes a while to get these free changes. Let's do great admiral points. See, I don't even know what that is yet, so... Oh, actually. Where's the Great Prophet? Yeah, put the Great Prophet in. Get some extra points because, ah, oh, we are so close. 172. Our religion still isn't even going yet. Which, you know, is kind of lame. Divine Rights gets us the monarchy, chivalry. I feel like we should go for that. And it gets us a wonder, which gets us the martyr ability. Oh, okay. Yes, please. Send an envoy with Caesareans to three city-states. I wouldn't mind sending an envoy to one of these guys. They give us production in the capital. I'll go for Hong Kong. Does that mean we could send a trade route now? I hope so. But either way, pastures here providing 0 0.5 housing. That's exciting stuff because Memphis needs to grow ASAP. We, you know, we can't grow now because we've only got enough housing for all the people here, not all the people that will get here. Imagine todas as conquistas surpreendentes que as mentes brilhantes da minha nação realizarão. All right, goodbye. <laughs> Thanks for saying that, I guess. There's no importance to me, if I'm being honest. All right, so we want to utilize these guys. I feel like we should probably... First, make a little farm here. Gets us some food in. Oh, I think that might have expended them. Yeah, it did. All right, well, we'll get the Sphinx over here, I guess. Actually, I feel like we should put the, the Wonders on useless tiles. Because these are useful for food. And I really want some food in Memphis. We're actually going to, after this, see if we can train a builder. Because it shouldn't take too long. Actually, never mind. We've got the aqueduct in one turn. That should get us the housing that we need. I don't even have to worry too much about that. Oh, Catholicism just went up. I don't know why. Not in my lands, though. It's all our own pantheon, which is good. 
We haven't been taking those trade routes that take pressure from the other religions, which is nice. Eureka! We've got military engineering being boosted. All right, Shadet is free. Let's see what we can do. Water mill. Rice and wheat resource gain one food. If we don't have those, that's the, the tough thing. Otherwise, that would be a really good thing to have. Aqueduct, get some more housing. At least two. Which I think... Why not? It's eight turns. Or trader. Are we allowed to, to trade more? Yes, we can. Alright, definitely trader then. And Memphis has got a production now as well. Now we've got the aqueduct. Is this going to grow? Oh, it should do. It definitely should do. I think we're going to get the builder in here just so we can get more farmland. That should help us out. Things are looking pretty good though, i got to admit. We've got Edfu down here now. I mean, in terms of rankings, we're doing awful. But we do have a better military than a lot of our enemies. Not Saladin as much anymore. They've definitely strengthened up a little bit. In fact, I'm kind of scared of Saladin because right now... They're in the industrial area. We're all the way back down here. Which is worrying. I don't know how they managed to get ahead so far. Probably just knowing what to do. <laughs> but we're going to leave that one for here. I'm really proud of how things are going. But we'll catch up on this on the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed so far. Let me know any tips and stuff that you have. It means a lot. It helps out a huge amount. But yeah, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy this episode. And check out my Twitch channel, which is linked in the description. Until the next one, guys, I will see you around. Goodbye.